So I think our luck has finally run out with the series, and it's a good time, to, I think, to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and announce the winning countries and go over some of the big changes that happened in the map, uh, because I did try to push forward a few more years just to get some, I don't know, a different change of pace. And to be honest, I'm severely understating uh, the amount of changes that happened over the break. Um, I probably fast-forwarded about four or five years, something like that. At this point, just to kind of go over the one, what were some of the issues, uh, I, I, for some reason, it's a frame rate issue now. Like, and I, I just think it's it's the present day mod. There's so many numbers to deal with. There's so many like it's just so big. Everything, every country's got so many numbers to deal with. So many things to um, you know calculate for and stuff like that. I think that I'm just I'm just glad that we got it this far. I did try to make it to uh, year 2,200. I just I really cannot. Um, if I press play, it just it just even even on even on speed two, like just the frame rate is terrible. So uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. I mean, plus it, the, the series needed to wrap up anyways. So let's go over some of the changes before we announce the winners uh, and some pretty big changes as I said happened uh, you might have noticed this right here Britain eventually fell um, they couldn't stand so they 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 survived the I think the Polish and the Turkish wars because remember Great Britain was at war last time I think we talked uh, last time uh, in the last video um, the EU as well as Great Britain had called in all their alliances and they're at war with a, a separate war with Turkey Hungary and Poland. Um, they eventually just kind of, you know, destroyed the progress that Poland was making. They made them release Lithuania and Estonia, uh, and Turkey was fine. I don't think they, I don't think Turkey lost anything, but you know, nothing ended up happening. But the thing that killed them was Canada. Canada and the USA had declared war, and uh, they had won up. They got a lot of war scores in battle, and I think part of the issue was that. Britain was losing a lot of its naval units because they were they were kind of separated. A lot of them were in the Mediterranean, some of them were in the Baltic Sea, which left a lot of their heavy ships out here in the open. So then, boom, the USA came, you know, sunk a bunch of their ships. They started getting a bunch of war score there. Uh, they finally just destroyed, I think, the entire British fleet because by the time everyone was, you know, united, by the time they were able to get their fleet out of the Mediterranean and out of the Baltic Sea, um, the damage had already been done. And then they were too weak to resist the USA and Canadian naval forces. Uh, at that point, they made a landing in Ireland, and uh, and then it didn't go well from there. So uh, they, yeah, Britain was completely broken. And uh, did they did they end up losing anything in terms of the EU? I'm not sure. No, technically the EU is still all there. Um, but but yeah, so. That is another good reason why we should stop this series. I think for me, uh, a big reason why I wanted to continue on was just because of that possibility of Great Britain and Germany fighting out between it. Um, but then once the USA forced them to release Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and then boom, Canada grabbed this province in Cornwall. I didn't even realize that until now. And then they forced them to give up all their cores from to, uh, in Iberia and northern France. I mean, that was it. That was certainly it for Great Britain. Uh, we talked about Poland. Let's look over the other big change. It was China versus Japan. Boom. Japan took a huge hit from China. Uh, they ended up making, again, uh, another landing. They destroyed all of the Japanese ships. They made a la landing in the Japanese mainland, and China took a whole bunch. So Japan would only had about probably 15 years left whenever that truce ended, and then China would have knocked them out of, the, uh, out of the race. So it's crazy to see China go absolutely insane at the end of this campaign. That was crazy to see. They didn't do anything for the first, like, 150 years, and then finally the last, like, you know, 30, 40 years, they went insane, and they just started taking over everything. So uh, that was some big stuff. The final and the biggest change that happened, and that will severely affect forever, um, the victory is in South America. And we discussed that this was a possibility, and uh, Peru really did the damage at the very end. Bam. I, there is no amount of money that I could have ever put out there that I, I would have never thought the Peru would have gotten this big. And I never would have thought the Peru uh, would have beaten Brazil. And they did. Uh, they they beat Brazil. And part of the reason was because, because Brazil lost their awesome alliance from the British. Because remember... Do you remember how many times Brazil was saved by the British? Because, you know, once, you know, they called in their alliance of the British, and then, boom, the British called in all the EU. And at that point, you know, all the EU had a bunch of boats, and they'd send them over to South America, and they, you know, because Mexico was the big, like, uh, the big, I don't know, what's the word? They were always, like, the bane of Brazil. Mexico was always pounding Brazil, and then all of a sudden Brazil would, at the last minute, call in Brit the British, and the British would come and save their ass. Uh, not this time, because Peru took the right, the exact time, the perfect time, right when the British were at their weakest point, right when they were done uh, with the Canadian and American War, uh, Peru announced that they were going after Brazil, and they just, boom, they dominated and uh, it was one of the strangest turn of events. So, uh, so anyways, like, uh, let's just go ho let's go over the winners. And uh, for anyone that's wondering, we have Yugoslavia at war with Bosnia. 
Uh, so also Poland and France technically are at war, but Yugoslavia is not doing too, too good against Bosnia. We have Sudan going after South Sudan, but uh, again, nothing too big going on. I think I feel very comfortable about this time that I'm glad that we're ending it here. I know a lot of people were, you know, wondering, kind of wanted to move on, and I agree. I think it was time to move on. This has been a stressful series to do just because of performance issues and stuff like that, so uh, I definitely will not be revisiting. I don't think the present day mod like this, you know, after we do an AI only battle with the present day mod like this, there's not much that's going to change, but uh, I'll talk Talk about I'll talk about future AI onlys in EU4 a little bit later. Um, we, I, I did I looked into a few categories to choose the winners. Um, ultimately, I don't think this is, should be a much of a surprise. Pretty much the development category told um, told the story. So we have China here, number one. Uh, China winning out Asia with the USA winning out North America. We have Germany winning out in Europe, which was really shocking. I would have never thought that. Remember at the beginning of the, at the beginning of the campaign, I was picking Russia. Uh, I had no idea that China was just going to kick Russia's butt constantly, and uh, that was going to allow the Germans to get really powerful in the heart of Europe. Uh, India was there, but they just, they were so far, you know, they, again, the same, the same story. They were getting their butt kicked by China the entire time. And here we go. Here's Peru. Peru really pulling out ahead of Brazil by the end there, having doubled the developments. That is incredible. Double the developments, and uh, and Peru won for South America, which was a huge upset. I don't think any, there was about... I think to, out of everyone that I think there was only about 35 people that picked Peru. There wasn't 35 people that won. No, 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 no. And we'll talk and I'll announce the winners in a second. But uh, no, the, it was there was only about 35 people out of 1,500 comments that picked Peru. Uh, I would have never guessed that. So really, I mean, if you pick Peru, congrats to you. Uh, oh, there you go. I rhymed. I'm, again, I'm, I'm working on my mixtape. Um, and then finally for South. Oh, I'm sorry, for Africa, uh, of course, South Africa had won this one. Um, that was no big surprise. Ethiopia was somewhat close behind, but they just couldn't get things going. Uh, again, the biggest factor that stopped Ethiopia was the Saudis. Um, constantly, we saw Ethiopia trying to get bigger and bigger, but the Saudis would come out of nowhere from the Middle East and, and stop them. Um, so there you go. We've got USA in North America, uh, China in Asia, Germany in Europe, South Africa in Africa, and then the big upset, Peru winning in South America. So there were only two people that won. Usually I do a slideshow because there's so many people that choose the right thing, um, but there were only two commenters. Honestly, you guys deserve like a huge round of applause because this is incredible that you were able to pick uh, these five nations. So again, out of 1,500 comments, only two people picked this right. Uh, we have Zapdos uh, Media and JJJ Danny. Huge round of applause. I mean, I'm I'm shocked. I was I didn't think anyone was gonna pick it. Um, but I mean, that was big stuff. Um, I'm I was I was incredibly shocked. I mean, I, I wish that you know you could you should probably you should probably play the lottery, both you guys, because honestly, you're having some because I'm crazy. I mean, I don't even know if it was luck. Maybe you knew. Maybe you knew something. I don't know. But it was it was incredible. Anyways, uh, for the future of uh, EU4 AI only battles, I do want to revisit. The extended timeline. Uh, I'm in a really interesting situation here because I'm still waiting for the dang expansion to come out, uh, and I have no idea. Paradox has yet to release the expansion date, uh, and I also know that when that when that comes out, we're gonna have to wait for some time for the extended timeline to uh, you know to what's it called? Uh, you know how it, it breaks all the mods usually when expansions and, and patches come out. So uh, I'm I'm a little bit worried about that. So I don't know how long it's gonna take for the extended timeline to get their stuff ready to go and and to be you know, stable again. But I definitely have multiple ideas, and I actually think I've got a really good one that I cannot wait to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait all the way for the expansion. Um, I might, depending, because I have a feeling that I, I've... I'm wondering if the expansion might come out in December. If it does, then we have still about a month left. I might try to pump out a fast series, but at the same time, I'm really excited for the next EU4 AI series in the extended timeline, by the way. And I don't think I dropped any hips, hints that I would do uh, this one. I know we had a vote, but it was so close. It was like really, really down the middle. Um, it was it was so close that I, I don't know if I feel comfortable um, really choosing. I think there was like three in the top in the top three, all very close to each other. So I don't know if I feel comfortable choosing one of those because it was just too close to tell. So I might just go with something completely different, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, my, my point is I might it might take a little bit before we come back or uh, I might just try to do a quick AI-only series, depending on what you guys think in the comment section. But uh, but anyways, congratulations to the winners. Uh, I think this was a very, very fun series and uh, it, it constantly surprises around every single corner. I cannot wait to get to the next one. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.